everyone. The difference between the ordinary and the extraordinary is the title extra. If you want to become an extraordinary, work little bit extra. Want to get a success. If you are ordinary, no one recognize you. If you are extraordinary, everyone recognize you. So, do something extra. Let us start with this topic, the social science, 8th standard. The lesson, sources. Before starting the sources, you must understand what you mean by history. History is nothing but to learn about the past. With this, let us learn what you mean by sources. Human beings has created many facilities to live their life. Example, you can take, when you enter home, you will absorb many facilities like fridge, washing machine, TV, sofa, cart, grinder. So these are the facilities created for us. The same way, olden days also, human beings had many facilities. So if the things used by the human beings in the past remain now, that is only considered as the sources by the historians. For example, the coins, the monuments, inscriptions, these are the biggest example for the sources. Human beings had created many facilitates to lead life since the ancient times. If the things used by the human beings in the past remain, then that is called as the sources by the historians. Example, coins, inscription, monuments. What are the different types of a sources? Sources can be divided into two different types. They are literary sources and archaeological sources. Again, the literary sources can be divided into two types. One is written literature. Second one is oral literature. The literature, literary, the resources can be divided into two types. One is a literary sources. Second one is archaeological sources. Again, the literary sources can be divided into two types. One is written literature and second one is a oral literature. Written literature is the main sources of literary sources. Literature which is in the written form, which is in the written form is considered as a written literature. Again, this written literature are divided into two types. One is native literature. Second one is foreign literature. The written literature divides into two. One is a native literature. Second one is a foreign literature. Native literature. The literature created by the Indian natives is considered as a Indian literature. Means it is in our own language. Example, Kannada, Telugu, Tamil, Hindi, Marathi. So these are the different languages. The Indians themselves they have written in their own language is considered as the native literature. Namma bhaashe yaleye bharivantaha barhagadanna native literature nanta hai le Example, you can see Bhagavad Gita, Mahabharata, Ramayana, also Kautilya's Arthashastra, these are the books are considered as a native literature. Then what do you mean by a foreign literature? Many foreigners who visited India as travelers, ambassadors, 
businessmen, officials and the missionaries have recorded their observation and experiences their words. So that is only considered as the foreign literature. So, Videshiyaru Bharatakke Bandhu Tamma experience Bharatada Bagge Atoba Bharatada Rajana Bagge Tamma experience Anna Bariyod Anna So, if he has written his experience in his in Aina when he come to India when he visited India he has written in his experience whatever he have uh, got the experience he has written that is only considered as a foreign literature for example Megasthani's Injika the next one is a oral literature. We have learned in the lit uh, literary sources, we have a two different types. One is a uh, written literature, other one is a oral literature. In this written literature, you have learned nature and the foreign literature. The next one is a oral literature. Oral literature means folk songs, a folk story, folk legends, ballads and other that pass on from one person to another by words of a mouth is considered as a oral literature. We will listen one of the song. So, Elno Jogappa, Nina Aramane. This is one of the wonderful I hope children, now you have listened the Song, Elo Jogapanina Aramana. This is one of the folk song, means Janapada Hard. The same way, different ballads, different stories, which is passed from mouth to mouth. For example, Sanguli Rayana, you have heard his life story. Kempe Gauda, you, all, you also heard maybe regarding his story. These are the things which is passed from mouth to mouth from one person to another person. This is what we consider as a oral literature. I hope children you have understood this particular part. So recall once again what are sources? What are the different types of sources? The two different types of sources, literary sources and archaeological sources. Literary sources again divided into two, written literature as well as oral literature, written literature to native and foreign literature and also explained about the oral literature. I hope everybody understood the part one video. The part second video, I'll explain you what is this archaeological sources and their kinds. Always support to Guru Brunda teachers team. Subscribe, share and like always support us thank you